Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and for today's video I'm going to be doing a dedicated reading vlog to a book that I didn't even know existed until last night and I am so glad I am filming this after I have already finished it and oh my god you'll see all the footage. It gets pretty emotional um so if you don't like watching people cry sorry <laughs> uh but I started crying so yeah this was a really emotional reading vlog for me to film, but I'm glad that I filmed it. Uh, I don't think it's very long, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And it is a little bit spoilery, but I don't think that that will hinder your reading experience. So if that's something that you're worried about, I think you could still watch it. If you don't feel comfortable doing that though, you don't have to, um, obviously. So if you want to read it and come back and then talk about it, totally cool. If you don't care and you need some convincing, go watch me cry. So yeah, uh, I didn't even introduce the book. The book is The Dark Matter of Mona Star by Laura Lee Gulledge, and it's a graphic novel. It's the best graphic novel I've ever read, and I will continue to reread it until the end of time, and I'll also continue to shove it down my entire family's throats until they read it as well, because I think it's important. So yeah, uh, with all that being said, go ahead and enjoy this footage of me getting really emotional for however long this video is. I did start The Dark Matter of Mona Star, and I just want to tell you guys, this is one of the most, oh my goodness, I have chills and I might cry talking about it, one of the most important books that I've ever read, and I'm only like 15 pages in. If you want to educate yourself more on mental health because of a family member, a friend, or even yourself, if you want to learn more about what a good therapeutic relationship looks like and how to practice everything that you're learning in therapy outside of therapy and also just a very realistic portrayal of what depression and mental illness look like you need to read this it's a graphic novel, so it shouldn't take you, like, terribly long in comparison to a full-length novel. Oh my god. I'm only 15 pages in, but I've never related to a character more when it comes to mental health, particularly on the therapy side. Having friends to talk to you is really good, but your friends can't be your therapists, and your therapist can't be your friends, which is a whole nother thing that I think I want to do a video on my mental health this month on my other channel um, because I've learned a lot and I want to share what I've learned because I think it's important information. Um, but the way that Mona is observing her depression and picking out emotions, like that is what I've spent the past year doing. And it seems so simple but it's hard. And so, I don't know. I just, mm, I, this book is so, so, so important and I'm 15 pages in. <sighs> Unless it gets drastically bad, I will cut all of this out, but I have a feeling I'm gonna lean it, leave it in. I'm sorry I got a little bit emotional there, but obviously mental health and therapy are things that are very, very important to me and close to my heart. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I had never heard of this book, but seriously, the most important book that I've read all year. And I'm 15 pages in, so it's fine. I'm gonna cry again. Okay, I'm gonna go read. Okay, I've decided I'm filming a reading vlog for this. So in that clip that you just saw, um, that was for like my weekly reading vlog but there's so much to talk about in this book that I think it deserves its own reading vlog um so I'm gonna do my best to not include spoilers but I might take some quotes and stuff from the book um and I feel like since it's a contemporary it's they're not like really spoilers uh and even if you do consider them spoilers if you want to watch this, I still think that you would gain so much from reading the book yourself. So, that being said, I am on page, like, 60, which is, 
less than halfway. But Mona is currently um, <sighs> trying to kind of navigate it. She just had her like first couple days of school. She is making friends with the new girl Haley, and a lot of her thoughts are like. Mm, I don't know if I should be friends with this person. I'm so weird. I'm not worth it. Are they worth it? Not because like they as a person are not worth friendship, but are they worth me investing so much time into them? And then once they find out what I'm really like, they're just going to turn their back on me. Like, is that worth it? I'm just going to get hurt. So maybe I should protect myself. Um, and again, it's something that I've definitely experienced personally and it's really hard and it's also very apparent through this book that Mona is learning things about herself but that doesn't mean that as she's learning she can always apply them and also some coping mechanisms while they work sometimes sometimes they don't and that it can be really hard and that can put you into a deeper like spiral and everything and I don't know I just think that the representation of mental health is done so 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 well and it mirrors mine so much which is why I'm connecting so much to this book I'm gonna cry in this vlog like hands down it's gonna happen I'm sorry but yeah so Mona just had like a pretty good day like it seems like she had some happy moments in there. Um, it wasn't perfect because she had a little bit of a panic attack. Um, and that can be really, really stressful. But she got to talk to Nash and kind of figure things out. But then she was like, okay, like I'm going to sit down and I'm going to figure out what's wrong with me. And so as she was doing that, she discovered the truth about herself. And so something that she typically uses as a coping mechanism it seems like backfired on her because she's now even more upset than she already was. And so again, that's another thing that I really like is it's showing that you can, you can feel like you're going up and like feeling better and everything and you're working to do things, but sometimes like it doesn't matter. I don't want to say it doesn't matter because that's so disheartening for people that can like, that are currently going through this and want to get better. But sometimes you're going to have hard days and a hard day is a hard day and you just have to chalk it up to that but that doesn't mean that tomorrow is like is going to be the same thing it might be harder which will suck and you might have a few of those in a row but that doesn't mean every day is going to be like that and so I don't know I'm just so obsessed with this book I just want this needs to be mandatory reading in high schools like seriously oh my god I want to have so many discussions about this book with so so many people because the conversations that it opens up for mental health I just it's in it's exquisite I love it I love it so much I've never felt so represented in a book ever at least mentally. Oh. Yep. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I've only read like two more pages. <laughs> but literally so many of the things that trigger Mona's matter are also what triggered me when I was really low and I started therapy around 13 months ago this new therapy and watching someone whose depression and triggers so closely mirror mine go through it just makes me really emotional I don't know why I felt the need to update that, but I just... It's also really nice and comforting 
to know that the things that trigger me and the thought processes that I had, I'm not alone in those because sometimes I think, like, nobody else is thinking this. Why is it making me so upset? And it's comforting to know that other people are thinking that same way and care about it the same way I do, even if it's just a book. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I feel like the internet has never really seen me cry. And uh, this is what it looks like. <laughs> so. Okay, so last night I didn't end up updating you, but I did finish The Dark Matter of Mona Star by Laura Lee Gulledge. And this is my favorite book that I've read this entire year. So I just wanted to close out this reading vlog um, with a couple of my thoughts, even though like I gave you my thoughts throughout the entire thing. Five out of five stars. This book was so so good. I haven't cried like that in a book in a really long time. Um, this is gonna be one that I reread and I know I was crying last night talking about it but it's just really nice to see like mental health representation that so closely like mirrors my own. Um, I've never read anything like I said that is such an accurate representation and I feel like if people have questions I'm just gonna make them read this because it captures what I was feeling so well and that's why like I love it so much so I don't know that everyone is going to maybe love it necessarily as much as I do but I do think that everyone can appreciate it and maybe feel a little bit seen by some of the aspects at least. Um, like I was saying, so many of Mona's triggers are like literally mine and so many of the thought processes that Mona was having were so similar to mine when I was at my lowest point and so many of Mona's coping mechanisms were also so similar to mine and the way that she approached it was so similar to the way that I approached like my recovery and I'm still recovering every day every day I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know if anything's gonna set me back and it's terrifying to get better because like it's you sit there and you go what but what if I get bad again like what's the point if it's just gonna revert back I'm just going to make myself even more upset. And so recovery for that reason and so many others can be so, so hard. But like toward the end of the book, I was feeling so proud of Mona as a character for taking the steps that she needed to to become like to take care of herself. And recommending this book to people feels like the right thing to do but it also feels really really scary because like I said it was just such oh I'm hungry <laughs> it just so closely resembles everything that I went through and so it feels like okay here's my story <laughs> and so like that's really scary but like it could be someone else's story too and I just please please go read it um I I can't recommend it enough and I know this was a super random reading vlog to do it was spur of the moment but I'm so glad I did it I'm so glad I have all of that footage to look back on because you reading this was such a unique experience and I just I'm so happy I read it and no one's talking about it and so more people need to talk about it please um as I've said like 400 million times it's the most important book I've read all year so yeah uh, that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're doing well reading mentally and otherwise. Let me know if you decide to pick this up. Uh, I really hope that you do. But yeah, that's all I have. So I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye guys.